Hi there, I'm Jordan and I'm going to be showing you around Melville Grove, one of our on-campus accommodations here at the University of Liverpool. Staff can appreciate that it can be daunting moving into halls, so we want to give you as much information as possible about what to expect and what you'll need to bring when moving in. All our rooms at Melville are self-catered, with the choice of a single or double bed. Each house in the gated complex can hold between six and nine students, so staying here resembles the style of student accommodation which you can expect to find in the private sector. This is your typical single room. The mattress comes included, but you will need to bring a duvet, pillows and your own bed sheets. You can buy bedding packs and much more on the Unikit Out online shop. When you're not sleeping, you're probably studying. There's plenty of storage for all of your textbooks around a large desk and a light is also provided. Unlimited Wi-Fi is also included. You'll get a wash basin and a good sized mirror in your room. There's also plenty of storage for your clothes with a large wardrobe, more drawers and cupboards. If you're organised, you might also want to invest in a laundry basket and some small storage boxes to keep your room neat and tidy. There's even more storage under your bed if you need it. Each house has at least one spacious shared bathroom with a powerful shower, toilet and sink. One bathroom is typically shared between three or four residents, so you can expect to have more than one bathroom in your house. The university doesn't provide bath mats or towels, so you'll need to make sure you've brought some with you as well as your toiletries. Before moving in, we recommend bringing everything you need so that you can settle into your new home straight away. However, if you do forget anything, don't worry. Melville Grove is only a short 10 to 15 minute walk from the city centre. Either way, make sure to explore the area when you arrive and get a feel for the place. You'll want to bring things to decorate your room with, like posters and photos. These will help you to settle in, particularly if you're moving away from home for the first time. You'll need the essentials like your clothes, computer and mobile phone, but don't forget that you'll also need coat hangers, chargers and cables. Each house has its own shared kitchen and living space. In the kitchen, there's plenty of counter space to prepare food, equipment to cook with and space to socialise with your friends. As a resident, you're entitled to lots of storage space for your food, pots, pans and utensils. There may also be spare cupboards around the kitchen for you to use communally. Each cupboard is labelled. Your cupboard will be the one that matches your room number. There is also a large fridge freezer with all the space that you'll need to stock up on your favourite fruit and veg, or chips and chocolate cake for those cheat days. Your kitchen has all the cooking appliances that you could ever need. There's a couple of hobs, ovens, and you will already have a toaster, kettle and microwave so you don't have to go out shopping before you can whip up a slice of toast and a nice cuppa. Make life easy for yourself and think about buying a set of plates, bowls, cutlery, mugs and glasses before arriving. Don't spend too much money on these as things often get broken through the year. Tea towels, wooden spoons, ladles as well as frying pans and baking trays, these are all essential if you're going to impress your friends with your cooking skills. Jars and Tupperware boxes are also great for storing products that need to be kept fresh and stored airtight and they're a lifesaver at uni. The main living space is adjacent to the kitchen. You've got plenty of seating for your flat and for entertaining guests and a flat screen TV that can be connected up to your games console or streaming device. Live TV and a TV license are included in the communal areas, but if you bring a TV into your room, you will need to buy your own license. Please remember not to bring any fairy lights or candles to Melville Grove as they don't meet the health and safety regulations of the halls. With on-site laundry facilities, chargeable limited car parking all in close proximity to campus, we think you'll feel right at home moving into Melville Grove. Our on-site residential advisor team are on hand if you have any trouble when you've moved in, and the accommodation team based at Crown Place can help you with your accommodation related queries. Before making an application, we strongly recommend that you visit our website, where you'll find information about each of our halls of residence. You can also visit our Halls Life website and social media pages, which give you an idea of what it's like to live in our halls. You'll find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. All the links you need can be found in the description below. You can apply for accommodation as soon as you receive your student ID number via email. Applications are made via the accommodation portal on Liverpool Life. Apply early and think carefully about what is important to you when choosing your preferences. If you have any questions about Melville or any of our accommodations, be sure to visit our website at www.liverpool.ac.uk forward slash accommodation or email the team at accommodation at liverpool.ac.uk. We're always happy to help.